Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to update your Minecraft 1.16.5 server to Minecraft 1.17. Now this process works similar for most versions of Minecraft, however I will say that you do want to be careful when jumping from like a 1.12 server for example to a 1.17 server. Expect things to break there. However, for jumping from one version from 1.16.5 for example to 1.17, no problems. Also updating within 1.17, so like 1.17 to 1.17.1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or whatever it goes to is going to be similar and the exact same as this process here and you shouldn't really have to worry about doing that update whatsoever. Nevertheless though we do first have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your very own Minecraft server that you can update quickly and easily without any issues whatsoever. It's literally just two clicks. You click on the server version that you currently have, you click on your new server version and then you restart your server. I guess it's three clicks. Three clicks and you are updated at Apex Minecraft Hosting. All the stuff we have to do in this video with backups and everything like that. Apex takes care of for you and should you have an issue in updating your server you can reach out to Apex using their 24 hour 7 day a week support and they will be able to help you out we actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server play our breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft hosting check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running and up to date very quickly and very easily nevertheless we're showing you how to update a server right now locally on your computer this is also similar to how it's done on host however most host good ones at least that we've ever recommended specifically Apex do backup for you so you don't have to worry about the backup process that we're about to go for through as much. Version of us though, this is our 1.16.5 server. We go ahead and start this server really fast. I'm going to do a quick jump cut until it is started because of lag. Alright, so there we go. The server is now up. We can go ahead and move this over and the server is up. Now I'm going to join this off of 1.16.5 because uh, I want to make sure that we can confirm, just localhost there, just that we can confirm that this is the same world when we update it. So there's no denying this is an ugly house, but I built this house because it uh, very much so is going to be rememberable. I think we can remember the uh, the warped plank and crimson plank with a uh, blackstone roof house here, right? On top of that, I do want to go ahead and switch over to 1.17. Here we are on a 1.17 client, as you can see right up there on the left. Click on multiplayer, localhost connect over here, and I just can see it's incompatible. It's not going to be able to connect because it is 1.16.5, not 1.17. So let's go ahead and get it updated. So the first thing you need to know about updating your server is you need to back all of this up. How do you do that? It's not really complicated at all. All you want to do is take your server folder, right click on it, click on copy, and then right next to it, right click and click paste. This could take a while, and let's see, we have an unexpected error occurred, session.lock. Uh, you can just skip that file, right? If it does give you any sort of an error like that, skip the file, then go ahead and open up the dash copy here. Make sure everything kind of looks similar, as long as it's all there. Make sure there are files and folders in here, for example, and then you're going to be good to go, right? You've kind of got that updated or backed up, and that's how you can kind of back up your server. Now, it's not going to keep it backed up forever, but during the update process, it's going to keep it backed up. If you do want to keep your server backed up but forever, by the way, we do have backblaze link in the description down below. They're not a sponsor. That is an affiliate link. We get a little commission if you use it. But overall, I just wanted to mention that they're there if you want to keep your server backed up. Kind of once a day, it'll do that. But nevertheless, now that is backed up, you can rename it. For example, you could do 1.16.5 server backup. That way you know it's backed up. Drag this out of the way. Get it off the screen, if you will. Get it out of the way because we don't need it. We're going to update this one, but if you do have issues, if for whatever reason your server doesn't start anymore, or your world corrupts or anything, you've got this backup. And all you need to do to start using your backup is literally come in here and double click on the run.bat file on your backup and it's going to work just like your server had before like it had never been updated. That's why we do that. So if you do need to go back to the backup, just go to the backup folder, double click on the run.bat and you're good to go. You can even make it your main if you would like and delete the backup from it if, if you want, but uh, yeah, you, you don't you don't have to do that. You can run it however you want, but the backup is there and it's going to be basically your server frozen in time at that moment. Let's go ahead and move, like I said, that off the screen, and we're going to update this right here. Now, we open this, you will see this is our 1.16.5 server, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it over here. Now, how do we update it? Well, the first thing we need to do is get the updated server.jar file. To do that, we want to go to the description down below and go to this website here. Now, here you will find the releases of Minecraft of all time, from the alpha of Minecraft back in 2009, all the way to the newest version in 2021. Every server version that's ever been released is on this website. In this case, you want to get ruined.17, but if it's another version, it's another version, get whatever version it is. Click on download here. It's going to take us to this little page where we can then click on download server.jar. Then it's going to download the server jar on the bottom left and we will need to go ahead and keep that file right like so. 
Now we want to minimize our browser. Here it is on my desktop, the server.jar. If this isn't on your desktop, it's going to be in your downloads folder. Click the little one is like on the top left of your screen. In the top left of my screen, excuse me, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little one is like on the top bottom left. Type in downloads of this downloads file folder. And in here, you'll find your server.jar. Drag that to your desktop for ease of use. Now we want to go ahead and open up our 1.16.5 server file. And we want to delete the server.jar that's in here, right? So just go ahead, right click, delete it, get rid of it. We don't need that server.jar anymore. We do still need the one that we downloaded on our desktop. Now take the one from your desktop and drag and drop it into your 1.16.5 server file. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and rename this because it is now a 1.17 server, right? By changing that jar, we updated the server. And now you wanna either double click on your server.jar or double click on run.bat. Whichever way you run your server, it's gonna be the same and it's gonna go ahead and get your server started. Now to do the lag, I'm gonna do a really quick jump cut. Once the server's up, we're gonna go ahead and join it. There we go, the server is now started and we can go ahead and try to join it on 1.17. So we go here, we are in Minecraft 1.17. 17. You can see by the main menu, this is the 1.17 spy screen, one of them. And we can go ahead and click on multiplayer, direct connection, and then join local host. And it will take us right on in and Minecraft 1.17. Just waiting for it, joining world, there we go, and here we are in game, that is our ugly house, right? Now we can do time set day, for example, time set day, and there we go, that is the ugly house, no denying that. As you can see, even our inventory is the same, we're in the same game mode, all of that, it's all part of the update, and now your server is up to date. It, it, it's really simple, really easy to get a server up to date like this. You only need to be careful if you're jumping a ton of versions, like I said, from like 112 to 117, that's probably not going to work, but if you do it, you know, like 116 to 117, 17, you're probably going to be okay. On top of that, make sure you do back everything up. That server backup is so important. Should you have problems with your server, you are going to have a way to get back to your old server without those files being lost. I cannot stress that enough. That backup is super important. So uh, as you can see, we are now updated. Everything is looking great, looking grand, looking amazing. And we do have our ugly house here. You know, I feel bad about calling this house ugly, honestly. Yeah, but anyway, that is how you can update your Minecraft server. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And the easiest way to update your Minecraft server is with my Apex Minecraft hosting. Like I said, it is three clicks at Apex to get your server up to date. You don't have to worry about backups. You don't have to worry about anything like that. They take care of it all for you. Not to mention, it's also a more safe and secure way to host your server. And if you've ever had lag hosting your server on your own computer, Apex solves that issue for you because they handle all of the hardware. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy your Minecraft 1.17 server, and I'm out. Peace.